Hi everyone, welcome back, it's Candace, and for those of you that are new, welcome to my new channel. I wanted to say hi to Emily, she's my oldest granddaughter. I didn't say hi to her yesterday, so I am saying hi Emily. Hey Emily, love you, thanks for watching. Oh, okay, we're going to make a quick altered book page pocket. It's going to be a side tuck pocket with a tag. So I just have a book page. It's the standard one that measures six by nine. And then we're just gonna fold. I'm gonna leave my little scraggles down here. Well, maybe these are a little too scraggly. But let's just tear a little more off so it doesn't have the, the curl on it. Cause I want some of the the torn edge to show on the bottom but not this kind of rounded part of the book <clears throat> all right so I want to fold in one side about two inches oops this is going to be our side tuck part and I'm wanting the actual pocket to be about four inches so we're just going to fold this side in Four inches. I've got to stay up top. I tend to work down and my phone doesn't film down further. Okay, so just want to make sure that those are straight, which it looks like my book page isn't actually straight. You'll, you'll run across that a lot. Book pages aren't exactly straight. So let's go ahead and ink, ink it up. You only want to ink this side. Now, if you want it to be a left side, um, a right side tuck, then you would just fold your corners the opposite direction. You'd have your two inch on this side and then the longer one on this side, but I'm doing a right tuck. So we're gonna go, oh, I got to watch out with that. So I must've said it like 279 times yesterday, maybe even more, I don't know. It got worse. Once I mentioned and caught myself saying it, I said it even more, okay. And then we're going to ink on the side. And since this is kind of an older, frail book page, I want to go ahead and put a little bit of scrap book on there. And how can you lose your scrap book page? I don't know. Oh my gosh. Oh. Hold on. Holy Toledo. All right, let me get another book page out of my book since I've, oh, I'm bad. It's covered by this. Stuff is falling, if you can hear. Sorry, sorry, sorry. So this is my scrap. I just threw my book page in here, which I shouldn't, but this is my, like, back pages and scraps that you can use for writing and journaling on. But I'm going to tear a piece of this book page just about three quarters of an inch because I want to glue it on the back of here just so that doesn't tear when you put in your journal card or index card in and out because it is a little a little older and frailed and yellowed so they tend to be a little bit brittle so let's just put that on the back so that way it's on. And then we're gonna take, and we're gonna glue the bottom. Gonna glue this, the right side on so it's down. And then we're gonna glue the, the top and the bottom. We don't wanna glue this side because this is gonna be our side tuck, so we're gonna glue that together and so now you have got the little torn look on the bottom which if you don't like that then just cut it off trim it off but this is going to be our side tuck and let me make that a little straighter so oh, I said it again but this is where you'll tuck your 
index card if you want or a journal card. Now I have this which is a scrap of some that I had tore off from another digital that I made a journal card with. So I'm going to put this on the side just to kind of cover these words up and give it a little bit of decoration. And then let's glue it down with some of my little tacky glue and then glue it with some stick -em glue so it won't come off. And we're going to put that on there. And then on this side, I want to cover this up, so I'm going to put about <clears throat> a one and a half inch strip of paper, so you can journal on it on that side, but it goes really pretty with the with the paper, so it will look like this when it's glued down. Oop, I got a little scraggler. So let's ink all around because this is all going to show also. So we'll just ink around it. And then we're going to put some tack on there and glue it down. Alright. Let's glue it down and I just make it even with the, the other one that's on the side because they're about the same size is what they ended up being. So we glue that on there. So that's what our little altar book page pocket looks like. I don't know why this is sticking. I didn't even put glue on there. I don't know. Alright, so we have this and now we're going to make a tag to go in the back of it and that's just so people know that it's a journal card it's gonna put a little more ink around there it was just just a little naked just a little naked I'm using this digital paper and this is a Jane B designs she's on Etsy and this is her mystery pack number two I think you get like a hundred different pieces of paper in there and it's just awesome for the price. So let me go ahead and trim this white off to make sure I don't glue the white that shows. That is a bad habit apparently of mine. And then we'll glue the back down. You might wonder why I don't put glue off from square to square. It's because I'm going to cut the corners off and no point in glue in there if you're going to trim it and then they just kind of slide off. Oh, and I put glue on the wrong side. Well, we're going to have to erase that. So let's just make sure our words are going to be the right side up because that's where my angles are that I'm cutting. And we're going to stick it on here. And while I'm here... Let me try to erase my measurements. If you're going to write on your card, make sure you put your paper on the side that has the writing on it so you don't see it. So now I'm going to have to cover that up with something. Oh, well, well, never a dull minute. Okay, so let's just cut it out. Our little tag out. Throw it around, and I'm gonna have need some more glue, or maybe that's my my top. Got some more scrap. All right, now I'm gonna take my my little cheater, so I can make my angles. I can do it the other way. It's just they don't come out kind of equal and and I like equal corners. Like I said, I have issues with things matching and and shoring up. One day I'm gonna force myself to do a, a nothing but torn edges and, and and rags and oh I might have a nervous breakdown but I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it. 
So this is the front of our tag. This is the back of our tag. And let's go ahead and ink around it just so I can see what's going on. So we got that. And I'm thinking I'm going to cut the corners around the edges. Those little sharp edges, sometimes I just, they don't go inside the pockets as well. They kind of stick on the side. So let's go ahead and ink the back. And now I'm going to have to find a little piece of scrap paper to kind of make it like this. Oops, was intentional because my pencil is still there. So let's dig in here and see what kind of scraps I have. I have this that will go pretty. So I guess we're just going to collage the back a little bit. So we'll put that on there. I got a nice piece of this still. So we'll just tear that a little bit. We can glue that up top and that actually kind of covers the thing. We'll do that. We'll stick this over here on this side and what other colors do I have? Well, I got a little brown paper in here. Okay, got a plan. Let's ink this up. And since this might show, let me go ahead and tear a little bit off of that just so it's not so straight down there. And then we're gonna be cutting this off. So if you don't wanna accidentally put too much glue in the wrong place, you can always kinda of cheat, put it on there flip it over and give a little trim so that way you won't be putting glue on the side. So now we're going to glue on our angle, make sure we get as much as we can around there so it sticks and doesn't flip up. And then let's stick it on there. See, I am messy. This glass is just so forgiving when you're doing stuff. All right, put that down. I don't know if I like this. Let me just take that sharp edge off there. And then we'll do a little inking around this coffee dye page. Stick it down too. I think that side was a little prettier, but oops. Oh, well, I've already committed. Got the glue going, sticking it on. Oh, it's running away from me. All right, let's put this on and let it kind of just cross on top of that one. All right, and then we're gonna stick this down here. Let's just kind of go around the edges of it and then crinkle it up and give it a little dab so we can get some good wrinkled old aged paper on it. And then put our glue on there. Hope y'all are having a good day. Thank you for coming back. I hope you enjoy this. I hope you'll go and grab you some little scraps that you have with some flowers or just any kind of design on there and make you a cute little tag and make you a little side tuck pocket from a piece of book page you have. So I'm going to leave the back like that. So I got the back. That's my back. This is my front. Now I did not plan ahead for this one, but this is going to go inside here and I wanted to maybe put a coffee dyed journal card that I have in there and that way you can kind of just put it in there and journal on it. So maybe we'll put a tab on the side and I'm trying to think, do I want to stamp it? I'm not sure. Mm -mm. I am going to put some, that goes, I have some scrap seam binding sitting over here on the side so 
let's poke a hole and, and stick that in there. We go ahead and use one of the reinforcers and we'll stick it on there. Punch a hole. And then stick another reinforcer on the back just to make the back finished. All right, and then we're going to pull our seam binding through. Got to get my tweezers. Pull those back through, and it just gives you a little bit of tab. Now, what I do with the seam binding, because it does fray. So I just turn them over and I just take a little dab of your wet glue, in this case art glitter glue. It works better. Take the glue off the tip. Just dab a little bit on the back and that way it'll help keep it from fraying. So by the time you pull this in and out a few times, your tab ends up being a nub. So and it'll dry clear but that just gives a little bit of extra something to it. Okay, so I'm gonna set this aside and let it dry, and I'm gonna try to find a quick flower to stamp on there. I didn't prepare myself for that one. I apologize, hold on, I'm going over to the other side of the room. I'm still here, I'm still coming. Yeah. Oh, can't make up my mind, see? Too many options, too many options, too many options. I'm going to use this Blue Fern Studio Butterfly. It's called Remnants Collage. And I think I'm going to maybe just put it down the side of there. So let me get my little piece of foam stamper. These are real thin foam that you get. I think I got it from the Dollar Tree and they just make really great, yeah, first time I've used the stamp. Just makes really great cushion for stamping. So I'm guessing since we have some black on this butterfly, we'll go ahead and use my VersaFine ink in the black and then I guess we're going to the left side so we're just gonna pick up some ink on our stamp we're not even gonna put it on a block we're gonna be a maverick and just go for it oh but I might want to make sure I don't stamp on my, my little pad and so whoa 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 just go down there and do a little pressing on it. Hold it for a minute. Walk it down, walk it down, walk it down, walk it down. And then see what we got. Got a little bit. Now I think I want to put this other butterfly over there. So I should have conditioned my stamp a little better. But it still looks good. It's a little grungy. And we'll put this butterfly on there. Yep. So I will set this aside and I'll clean it in a minute when I'm finished. So we're just going to leave that like that. I'm still thinking. Let me see. Do I have a large? Ew. A larger butterfly. This is the larger sheet from that BIB. Um, maybe anything go with that? Nope. All right, I have to pull out my butterfly. I'm wasting the camera. Oh my gosh! Let me pull out my butterfly ephemera book and see what I can find. Something that will go pretty on here. I need a little reddish pink. Nope. 
that just blends into the background. Oh, this one would be pretty. Kind of goes with that. Oh, that's too big. Oh my gosh. All right, we're going with that one. So we're going to stick him on here. We're going to put a little bit of ink around. Kind of help get rid of some of that white on here. And then where is my... My washi stickers I had. I didn't put them up, so they're right here. Let's find some green to go behind there. Some foliage. This might just be pretty. Have that and the butterfly stand out. And maybe we'll put some more. Yeah. paper sack. So maybe we'll put a little paper sack down to kind of make that blend in. And you can kind of see it underneath it, but not quite all the way. So we'll stick that there, tear a little more. Ink it up. Bunch it, scrunch it, come out with some old looking crinkles. So then we're gonna stick some glue on the back. Oh, I got some new tags that I ordered, some labels from that uh, Saturday stamper that Gail showed, and I forgot to cut them and print them out, but I will use them on my next one. So then we're just going to stick this down here. Better get rid of this blue mat before I get glue on it and then I'll be in trouble. So kind of just work the little creases out so it's not so rough. Hopefully we're going to have better luck with this washi stamp today than we did yesterday or the day before when it took me ooh, five minutes to get the stinking sticker off of it. All right, sticker gods, come on. Work with me, work with me, work with me. Oh my gosh, it's so quiet. I'm thinking, oh, got it, got it, got it, got it. Now I gotta be careful because there's so many different cuts on here. I don't wanna tear my washi sticker. So I'm gonna kind of Put them here. So let me rub the top part of the sticker down and then we're going to gently pull off the back. There. Didn't tear anybody. And now we're going to stick our butterfly on here. I don't know, I might, well, I'm going to put a label down there, but we're going to use our art glitter glue on this because it's kind of glossy and then it's thick cardstock. Well, heck. I, it's either this or Fabri-Tac is my, my go-to glues. And then we're going to stick him on here. And I'm, I guess I want him flying this way since his little friend's up there flying the other way. So we'll stick him down here. Hold it for a second. Make sure we don't have any glue seeping out. And then, oh, I guess we need a label on there. We don't want it naked, even though it is pretty like this. So, uh, let's look real quick. Let's see what we got. I'm run out of film. Ooh. Maybe we'll use a Tim Holtz field ephemera one. Hold on, it's behind me. I got this. This bin is from Hobby Lobby. It's um, in their little craft section, and it's, it just has all kinds of different bins. So whenever I 
buy a Tim Holtz pack, and I usually buy, you know, six to eight of them so I can make my ephemera. I just, it's easier for me to separate them into the, the bins. Make sure I'm in frame. There we go. So I can find what I'm looking for instead of digging through all the stuff all the time. So we're going to look for a flower. I mean, a, a label. And I think we're going to do that because it kind of ties in the, woo, fly. Sorry. <laughs> Had a fly buzzing around my head. Oh my gosh. Welcome spring, summer weed time. The bugs come out. All right, and let's ink around here a little bit. And we're going to glue them down, and we will have that tag done. So that little label just finishes it off, ties it all around. So here's our little tag. And I'm wondering, I know, you hear me? Or should I say you smell me thinking? It's definitely thinking. I'm wondering if I want some more of this copper. Yeah, because it, it'll, yeah, let's go with that. That just means i got to set aside, let it dry, but... What the heck? That's what I do all the time anyway. So one, two, we'll put, we'll put five on here. And then we'll tap it down. Sometimes you gotta beat it to get them to spread the way you want. And this is the little tag. So let me see if I can show it to you up close. And that's going to be our tag that goes inside of this pocket. So let me set it back here so it can dry. And then, um, does it tell me? Ooh, I got 27 minutes in, into it. Uh, so I'm just going to get a butterfly and stick it on here, I believe. Or maybe we'll just put another piece of green. Some greenery with a, a flower. I think I have a little a flower. That's too big. I might have to pull out my flower one. Oh, okay. Bear with me. Let me see if I can get this done fast. Let me pull out my my flower book. Oh, so here's my flower ephemera book that I made. And I just want something that's gonna go with this flower. And that kind of blends with that rose. Or do I want this one? No. I like the little one. So let's put that on there. Let's ink around the edges on this one too. And I'm just going to leave this index card like this so that way there's room to journal on both sides. Oh, who am I kidding? Let's put some paper on here. Like I said, always got to layer, always got to layer. I can't exactly put one or two things on there. Got to, got to, got to make it difficult. Anyway, not difficult. Just a little more time. But then it looks so much prettier. Crunch it so we can get some antique veins going on. All right. Let's glue this down. And then using, whoops, using glue stick on um, your little paper and stuff kind of helps flatten it out a little better than your wet glue does, the art glitter glue. And it just kind of helps tack it down so when you smush it out, it's a little smoother. You know, the other stuff is just so sticky. I guess it might be the humidity and stuff here. I just, just don't do well with it. So I'm gonna put it up here. 
Get a little more personality. And then, oh, while we're at it, let's put some old book page on here. So I have this old book from 1910 that's a Shakespeare book that's written. Oh, that's not that one. But this one's a Shakespeare book written in German. I mean, it's really, you know, frail paper, but oh, it's so pretty, the words. So let's tear a little bit of that out. And let's gently ink it up. And then we're going to put our wet, our um, art glitter glue on there. Now, I'm not going to put glue stick on here because, <clears throat> excuse me, it is real f a thin, frail paper. And I don't want to tear it. So we're just gently going to do that. Pat it down. And then put our little sticker on. And we have our, our journal card that's going to go into the side tuck altar book card. So I hope you guys, I would stick the other one in there, but as you know, I just put Nuvo drops on there so it's drying. I didn't make one beforehand, but I'll show you just sticking a card in there. So that's going to be our tag that's hanging out. And then our, our um, altar book page with a, a side tuck pocket and a top pocket for your tag and then depending on how you glue it if you glue it down on your book page oh here's book page you can glue it down on your book page in the center and or on the side make it a side tuck either way another side tuck for something or you can add a, a hinge a paper hinge on there flip it out cover the back make another writing spot or glue it down and you can have that and then make a larger even larger tag and you can do it that way. So there's just a lot of options that you can do with it. Just depends on how you glue your um, pocket down to your page. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know it was just a short little small thing. I'm, I'm, I'm sure you've seen other people make this. But I just thought I'd make a quick little altar book page pocket. So I hope you enjoy it. I hope it inspire you to make something. And I hope you come back. And thank you for watching. And have a blessed day, y'all. Bye-bye.